Howdy and welcome to the Mighty Mo Chuck Channel. Eyes of Chuck. So Tab Hunter died, also known as Arthur Gillian. Arthur Gillian was his real name. Tab Hunter was the name given to him by Henry Wilson, who was responsible for a lot of the uh, beefcake actors in the, that came forward in the 1950s. He, um, some of them he met in gay clubs. Some of them he was introduced to by people that he had met at said clubs. So a lot of the actors that he brought forward in Hollywood um, came from that background. Although Henry Wilson made a lot of people rich, he made a lot of enemies in Hollywood. And um, toward the end, he was out of the closet. But during that period, um, things were not like they are now. And so a lot of the actors was afraid to even be associated with him. So he basically was uh, blacklisted. And uh, he died broke. And uh, he's buried in an unmarked grave. When Confidential, a tabloid magazine, was going to out Rock Hudson, Henry Wilson betrayed Tab Hunter as well as Roy Calhoun. Roy, Cal Roy Calhoun had a prison record. And Tab Hunter had been at a party and had been arrested for disorderly conduct and the party uh, was was painted by the tabloid. The, it, they didn't exactly come out, but they had a lot of innuendo to um, basically state the fact it was a gay party. Um, but Tab Hunter wasn't actually hurt by Confidential running that story because about at the same time, that um, the story came out, a Tap Hunter was shown in other magazines with Natalie Wood, and it was painted as though he had a relationship with Natalie Wood. Uh, the joke during that period was Natalie Wood, but Tab wouldn't. Um, so, so it wasn't like people didn't know. Note that I did try to find uh, the confidential article on Tab Hunter to see how far they went in uh, painting him as gay. And I could not find the actual article, so I, I really don't know whether this is correct or not. But uh, one of the sources that was referring to the article said that the article did go so far as to say that the, uh, the party where Tab Hunter had been arrested for disorderly conduct they termed it a limp-wristed party, so which is, you know, of course you notice some little old lady asked her, what does that mean exactly, dear? What does limp-wristed party mean? I don't understand that. What does that mean? <laughs> and the husband sits there. And, you know, he wants to be smart, but I don't know, honey. I just don't know. <laughs> uh, so, in other words, it, it it may have went kind of far in actually calling out Tab Hunter, but um, the average person really didn't pay much attention to it. Instead, they paid attention to the other tabloid pictures of Tab Hunter with Natalie Wood, because yeah. <laughs> uh, but still, it did, it I also it was kind of like with Rock Hudson, even though the story didn't run on him. Uh, there were other stories, and so the people kind of knew and didn't know. It, it, it was kind of, it's hard to explain, but there was a duality there. The American people were actually more accepting than what uh, some people have suggested. Um, in, in some ways, people were more accepting back then than they are now, I would guess, because there was so much vitriol on both sides where things back then were more, you know, just don't put it in my face, don't care. <laughs> of course, it's not really as easy as saying that everybody is this way or that way. Uh, you have certain groups that don't really care, have never cared. You have another group that may care a little bit. You may have yet another group that cares quite a bit. 
Uh, and there, there again, you've got where the government may have one uh, united opinion on how so-and-so should be treated. You may have rich people who think uh, a certain way on how people should be treated. And then, so it's not one way. You can't really, when, you, when I try to make the case that uh, one time period was more tolerant than another time period, well, I like that society is one force, one mind. Uh, there's always divisions. There's always debate. There's always the outlier, the people that uh, that are totally, they, they just totally disagree. I mean, so you can't really make the statement that so-and-so was a better time period than so-and-so because it depends on your perspective and how you look at it and exactly from what lens you're looking at to, to whether there's some validity to what you're saying. So in other words, somebody can make the case directly opposite of what I'm saying. I, what I'm trying to say is that at least there was a pocket of society back then. There was a fairly large pocket of society. They really didn't think about that kind of stuff. They really didn't judge that kind of stuff. They really didn't even want to know about that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. It's hard to make a, a blanket statement about whether so-and-so period of time is more tolerant than another period of time. So I wish I kind of had not even got into that. And uh, so it wasn't like people didn't realize, you know, Liberace, Rock Hudson, Tab Hunter. They knew. They didn't care. So Henry Wilson died in 1978 at the age of 67. Broke in part because people knew about him, about his sexuality. On the other hand, Tab Hunter, who Henry Leroy Wilson helped create, died in 2018, going on the age of 87, I believe. And uh, he died worth $10 million. <laughs> the man who created his career, penniless. Him, Tab Hunter, $10 million. Yeah. But it should be noted that one reason that Henry Wilson was uh, treated so badly at the end, it wasn't just because people knew about his sexuality, but it was because, in part because people like Tab Hunter hated him uh, and did not trust him. When he betrayed other actors to protect Rock Hudson, and on the one hand, he was trying to keep Rock Hudson's information confidential, protected, and not out there in the public. He was trying to protect Rock Hudson, but at the same time, he was willing to uh, destroy two other actors. In the case of Tab Hunter, Tab Hunter wasn't destroyed. In the case of Roy Calhoun, he was almost, almost blacklisted, and some suggested that uh, he was delegated down to just B-movies because of the revelation of his uh, prison record. But uh, when he died in 1999, he was worth $24 million. So, uh, he wasn't exactly hurt either, really. Although, you know, the story sounds better if, if, you know, if these were the two pitiful victims of Henry Wilson, who, you know, but... Uh, no, Roy Calhoun did pretty good, regardless. The American people are largely a forgiving people. And when I say forgiving, it's most don't feel like there's anything to forgive because there's not. <laughs> uh, but the, still the media... And see, that's what I get back to, is you, you go back into the 1950s, the media would reveal stuff you know, juicy gossip. And in some cases, like with Roy Calhoun, it, it may have almost destroyed him. But now the vitriol is at a level where the media actually does. I mean, if, if the media had turned against uh, Roy, Roy Calhoun today, the prison record if they had somehow built that up and and just repeated it and put it into social media and got all these women and, I, and generally it is women if you're offended by that 
too bad. Uh, on, the, on the different social media, bashing him, you know, making judgments, feeling like they're godly because they're considering judgment of somebody. Uh, if, that had ha- if that revelation had been made about his prison record today, he might would have been destroyed. So that's what I get back to. We make judgments on the past being less kind to people. But today is, there's a level of vitriol I don't think this country has ever seen. Um, you know, Americans have always liked to the gossip. They like their gossip. And, and they, do, they pass some value judgments. They always have. But in the past, they have been a lot more forgiving and understanding and believing in grace the power of grace and now you've got all this this, this vitriol this level of hatred that's destroying people it, uh, like I said I don't think this country's ever seen it before I, don't, I really don't but anyway if you if you read some of the stuff it will make it sound like that Henry Wilson you know he he destroyed Roy Calhoun but he didn't Roy Calhoun Twenty-four million dollars, man. Yeah, yeah. Much thanks for watching and listening. I do appreciate it. Thank you.